Hi everyone, my name is Dennis. I am an architect and an English speaker. This time, we will be discussing some English lessons. But before that, do not forget to subscribe and follow me on social media found on the description. So let's get started. Words, their uses. We have learned from our study that we use sentences to express our thoughts. These sentences are made up of words. Therefore, we call words parts of speech. Words are only fractions or parts of speech. And it is by combining them into sentences that we are able to express our thoughts. There are many thousands of words in the English language. It would be impossible for us to study each word separately. But these words are like people, are divided into classes, so we can study each class of words. These thousands of words are divided into classes much as people are, or rather, as people ought to be. For words are divided into classes according to the work which they do. In the industrial commonwealth, there will be no upper or lower class. But men will be divided into groups according to the work which they do. There will be various industrial groups, groups of agricultural workers, groups of clerical workers, and etc. So words are divided into classes according to the work which they do in helping us to express our ideas. Words are divided into kinds or classes according to their use in sentences. There are eight of these classes of words and called parts of speech. What a word does determines what parts of speech it is. When primitive men long ago first began to use words, in all probability, the first words which he invented were those used to name familiar objects about him. He invented a word for man, a boy, a tree, an animal, and etc. Gradually, all the things he met in his daily life receives a name. About one half of the words in our language are of this class, the names of things. Every word which is used as a name of something is called a noun. This word noun is derived from the Latin word which means name. So, it is quite the same thing as saying a name. Let us notice the following examples. Boys run, fish swim, horses neigh, soldiers march, Flags wave, flowers fade, girls study, winds blow, men work. All of these words used like boys, girls, fish, horses, soldiers, flag, winds, flowers, and men are the names of objects. Therefore, all of these words are nouns. The subject of a sentence is always a noun or a word used as a noun. However, we may use in a sentence many noun besides the noun which is used as the subject. The noun about which a statement is made. We will study the use of these nouns later in our lessons. Here is an example of nouns used in a sentence. The famous palace of the kings of Moors at Granada in Spain was called the Alhambra. We have six nouns in this sentence, which are palace, kings, Moors, Granada, Spain, and Alhambra. But the noun palace is the noun which is the subject. The noun, which is the name of that about 
which something said. Palas is the subject and was called is the predicate in this sentence. A noun is a word used as the name of something. Now, we want to learn to distinguish every word that is used as a name. Pick out the nouns as you read your books and papers until you are able to tell every word which is used as a noun. The name of something. Here, in this paragraph, the nouns are printed in italics. Let us first read the sentence. The fire in the gate, the lamp by the bedside, the water in the tumbler, fly on the ceiling above, the flower in the vase, on the table, all things have their history and can reveal to us nature's invisible forces. Again, the nouns in this sentence were highlighted, like fire, grate, bedside, tumbler, fly, ceiling, flower, vase, things, history, and nature. And lastly, forces. Alright, and that ends our lesson. I hope you like it. Please help us to make more contents and get updates by clicking the subscribe button and add me on your social media accounts. Thank you everyone!